On the promise I would get my interview with him, I agreed to be blindfolded and led to a remote dorm room somewhere on South Campus. He goes by the alias Stroking Deuces, and he's a Facebooky. Now, what I do as a Facebooky is take under-the-table wagers on Facebook-related events, like who's poking who, who's in an open relationship with who, drunken sex messages, he told me he often sits by his computer hitting the refresh button to see who's updated in the last 10 seconds. This month, Kate and Clancy were in an open relationship that devolved into the largest financial transaction disaster in our history. 2.3 million dollars. I have over 23,000 friends on seven different accounts at Ohio State. It lets me keep three eyes on everybody here. Betting on Facebook's gonna happen anyway. I might as well skim a little off the top, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have a clue what he was saying. So I went to see professional paper macheer and Facebook psychologist, Atron Ferguson. I see a lot of cases of people who come in here looking for medications to cure the financial and mental hardships of this Facebooky. I poked that son of a bitch! Since he's come to South Campus, the use of antidepressants has gone up 300%. Do we only see betting amongst the hardcore Facebook users, or is it among casual users as well? There's no such thing as a casual Facebook user. Casual users are simply addicts in denial. What students need to realize is that it's just a gateway site to worse things. You'll start out just poking random women, then you're molesting squirrels and smoking your firewire cable. He took everything from me. He threatened and bribed me to break off my relationship with Kate. And she was the best thing that ever happened to me. Thanks, Mr. He told me a group of three men approached him in the alley behind the aviation building and beat him with sticks and bottles. And I wouldn't voluntarily uh, break things off with her. They, they started messing with my Facebook. They started false tagging me and with like half-naked girls and leaving sexual wall posts talking about lewd acts behind the Taco Bell and it, uh, it, it only took two days before she dumped me. I don't feel responsible for what happened to Clancy. So you didn't hire people to hit him with sticks? Oh yeah, I did that. And you feel like you have no responsibility for that? Not at all. If you don't want to end up in the street, if you don't want to end up on the loading dock, if you don't want to get bitten by rats at night, then stay off Facebook.